Now to the latest on Maui, an emergency management director resigning tonight after coming under intense scrutiny for not sounding warning sirens during last week's devastating wildfires. At least 111 people were killed. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen has been on Maui all week. He joins us now with the latest. Jeff. Susie and Jeff, that director cited health reasons for stepping down and his resignation is effective immediately. In the meantime, volunteers here have been working 24 hours a day to provide as many as 11,000 meals a day for survivors. Maui's Emergency Management Agency Administrator Herman Andaya has submitted his resignation effective immediately. Andaya has come under scrutiny for failing to activate Maui's extensive system of warning sirens ahead of the worst wildfire in the state's history. On Wednesday, he defended his decision. Do you regret not sounding the sirens? I, I do not. And the reason why, and the sirens, as I had mentioned earlier, is used primarily for tsunami. The public is trained to seek higher ground in the event that the siren is sounded. And if that was the case, then they would have gone into the fire. Maui's attorney general says she will appoint a private third party agency to investigate and review government response to the fire. For the fire survivors, many are wondering where their next meal will come from. An army of chefs, volunteers, and students has taken over the culinary arts kitchen at the University of Hawaii, Maui College, to provide food for those displaced. Part of being in Hawaii is eating the food, and that's what part of being home is and so we want people to feel like they're at home and we care about them. They started cooking when the Salvation Army facility that would have provided emergency meals burned to the ground. The kitchen here is cranking out breakfast, lunch and dinner 24-7. It's sending 11,000 meals a day to shelters, churches and Red Cross facilities. Many working in this kitchen know someone that's been impacted. Now it's a time for everyone to, to step up and have each other's backs and, and and uh, no one's going to have to go through this alone. We're all in it together. People helping people, making sure no one goes hungry amid incredible devastation. And the Red Cross is in contract with a number of hotels to house survivors for at least seven months. FEMA says if you would like to help the people of Maui, the best thing to do is to donate money to your favorite charity. For now, we are live on Maui. Jeff Nguyen. KCAL News. Okay, Jeff, thank you so much. By the way, if you would like to donate, we certainly have different ways to do that on our website at kcalnews.com.